Hey everyone, this is Robert with Automotive Diagnostic Solutions. Uh, so this morning I was I was uh, working on a Honda Pilot, and I passed by this vehicle and I noticed something right away. And I've been wanting to get a chance to do this to show you guys what I've been finding. So this vehicle was in for a repair, back bumpers off, blind spot module right here on the left. You can see it's unplugged, and there's the right one hanging, and it's unplugged as well. Here's what I've been finding on these vehicles. It's important to know this. I, I guess when you're doing pre and post scans or, or some of these companies that are doing it remotely and you know clearing all faults and giving a you know clean bill of health, this is a perfect example of how come you need to go further than that. So I'm in the vehicle. I'm going to start it up. System check. And other than the hood being popped, is there anything wrong with this car? Not a single warning light, anything to do with blind spot. Lights on the mirrors are not on. Everything appears to be okay. I scanned the vehicle. Let's go check and see what faults we have. Um, okay, so our four park assist sensors in the bumper, that's... You know it's unplugged and turn signal and that's in history so no blind spot problem so once this bumper is put back on and they hook up and have somebody remote in or however they do it uh, me even if they call me uh, to come out and do a post scan on this it's going to show no faults not a single fault on this car and yet these are unplugged now when the customer gets driving down the road, of course, and goes to make a turn, they're not going to be warned that there is a vehicle in their blind spot. Um, I, I don't really know why it does this, I just have a, I have a hunch and I think that maybe as far as from a programming aspect, the way that the, basically on these cars, you know, the rear end module talks to the instrument cluster basically and tells it to turn on the warning lamp when there's a fault, but if it doesn't get any messages, it doesn't it doesn't get a message at all then it doesn't you know it, it considers everything as good it's kind of a stupid way to design the system but I can tell you that there is no if you scroll through here actually this will be easier there is no BSD on here whatsoever so that's what's basically going on if it has nothing if it can't talk then the car thinks everything is okay uh, kind of think it's a stupid design and a flaw and something that needs to be um, you know you need to be aware of it basically when you're working on these cars so I mean I can give you a tip the dead giveaway is when you start it up you will not get the amber indicator on the mirrors to come on um, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug them in and see if they show up I'll rescan it okay so I got under here and looked I can't because it looks like there's like a little bulkhead uh, piece that attempts there that is attached to the rear bumper that these two connectors plug into. Uh, I was just basically going to show you guys that if I plug it in, rescan it, the module will show up on the network, and as long as there are no faults, the light will be off. And you know, but then I can even set a fault, and you know, then it'll show up on the dash as a BSD fault, and we'll have a fault code. So. Just something I wanted to show you guys. I've been running into this, and every shop I it seems like most of the shops I go into, body shop, kind of assume that no codes mean everything is good, um, but it just takes a little more than that. So that's why it's tough to be, to not be here. You know, to try to scan it remotely from somewhere else, you just can't kind of, you know, see it, feel it, touch it. Um, you know, just to make sure everything is is okay. So thanks for watching.